People often ask me how to pronounce Russian composers' names correctly. Uh, so English pronunciation is not that far from Russian, however, sometimes it's not very close. So if you want to impress someone with correct pronunciation, just uh, go ahead and listen to this short guide. For example, it's not Rachmaninov in Russian, you would roll your R's. So it would be Rachmaninov. Rachmaninov. So if you have troubles rolling your R's, think of the British Oxford pronunciation and go with Rachmaninov. Or you can think of the D instead of R, it would be D, 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 and then put a lot of air for this consonant, it's gonna be R Rachmaninov. Rachmaninov. Uh, Tchaikovsky, it's pretty close to Russian one, it's Tchaikovsky. If you can see, there's a lot of more uh, inner space when you speak in Russian than you speak American, because when you speak American English, it all goes horizontal, and you speak in Russian, everything goes vertical. So a lot of inner space here, so Tchaikovsky, Tchaikovsky. Um, next one would be Mussorgsky. This one is uh, very far from original Russian pronunciation because it's uh, not Mussorgsky, it's Mussorgsky, Mussorgsky, with a stress on the first syllable, not the second one. And actually, Mussorgsky, he quite hated when uh, anyone tried to pronounce his uh, last name as Mussorgsky with a stress of the, on the second syllable. You can Google uh, this story too. Um, as well as not Prokofiev, it's Prokofiev. Again, you have to roll your R's. Uh, Shostakovich, Shostakovich. Again, you can see how much more inner space you have to put into this uh, Russian pronunciation. So I hope you enjoyed this quick uh, Russian pronunciation guides of the classical composers' names.